welcome to Rosie Crafted Colours. Today I'm bringing you a review of um, Wondrous Women by Sassy Colouring. I believe the um, illustrator's real name is Saskia Cook. Let me just double check for you. Yeah, Sas 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 Saskia Cook, I think her name is. Yeah, and this is her um, Wondrous Women book, which is a really lovely book. It's um, it's below A4 size, as you can see. It is Amazon Create Spaces, so it has, is Amazon printed. And it shows a variety of women working or in their daily life or, you know, similar. It's a really lovely book. It is one of those books where you get um, two of each images as well. So some people like that. I'm not, I don't really want that in my books, but I don't mind that it's there. So let's have a little look at this book. So the first page is a grayscale of the front cover, which if you wanted to have a go at colouring, you could still colour. First, we come with um, information about Sassy Colouring and um, she does have a Patreon, which I haven't had a look at yet, but I think I might because I like her illustrations. They're really fun. This isn't her only book. She has a few out. And I've got a cut on my eye on a couple of them at the moment. So there's a few tips about how to use the paper. With, with this paper, it's definitely important to put bleed papers to stop bleed through and, and to stop your pencils imprinting on the next page. So here we go. Here is our first page, which is um, this book belongs to our first colouring page, a pretty fat page of roses on. Here we go. So each girl is named. Their name is behind their picture. And this is Gabrielle. And she is a cake shop owner. And I've seen this one coloured. I'm sure Sassy Colouring did like, I believe like a competition or something. Or she gave this page away for free. Um, and she posted it on her Instagram. So if you do want to find her, she's definitely on Instagram. She's on YouTube too. And she does um, speed um, colourings of her pictures which is really cool um, digital speed colourings so yeah here she is in her little bakery very pretty this would be so nice in the pretty pinks and pale blues and things here is another character and when I first saw this I thought maybe she's someone that's into yoga but she's got a few um, classic books here she's got the jungle book Jane Eyre Pride and Prejudice and she has some plants around her, so she's just some girl that's just chilling. I love her hairstyle with the little buns, really lovely. And here we have a really pretty girl out in the snow with her her dog, which, you know, you could call her as a wolf. Um, to me, he looks a little bit like a German Shepherd um, dog, but he's very goofy. <laughs> These funny eyes, he makes me laugh. Yeah, a really pretty page. This one reminds me so much of Princess Jasmine. It's so gorgeous. Aladdin is probably my favourite Disney cartoon with the princesses. So, yeah, I, I love Jasmine and this is a gorgeous page. So I'd probably colour her as Jasmine, even though she isn't Jasmine. Here we have a beautiful flamenco dancer. Lovely page. What's really cool is this book shows girls in different um, women, girls in different um, settings. So while they are beautiful, we've got girls like this who are um, explorers. She's out in the wilderness exploring and I think that's really cool. And there are quite a lot of girls like that in this book in, in fields that people often associate with men, which I really like to see. This one is having a little fun on the karaoke or is possibly a pop star. This is the front cover. I really like this one. Um, it's the beautiful girl from the diner. It just really reminds me of Greece and the scene in Greece where they're at the diner and there's like the little old ladies that run the, the diner. And it just reminds me of that. It's, it's just so gorgeous. I love the records. I love the jukebox. Beautiful. We have this gorgeous Hawaiian girl with her hula skirt on and the tiki bar behind her. There's... Uh, volcano and these torches and the hibiscus flowers beautiful beautiful image this looks to be like a cool spy girl really funky just keeping herself secret she doesn't want anyone to know who she is love this and 
here we have a rather intelligent looking woman um it's up to you to decide what you think she is is she a businesswoman is she um a teacher i don't know she has these charts here and they look a little bit maths mathematics to me so i think i think of her as a mathematician so maybe she's a very clever um mathematician that works in some sort of business or she works in science or something that's what i'm getting from her and this is something i was so pleased to see as i went through this book we have a gorgeous beautiful woman who has a wheelchair we don't see this much in our coloring books and it is such a shame because not only is it great to see representation a lot of people that color um, not all people, but a lot of people that colour colour because maybe they have a disability. It might not always be a physical disability, it might be an unseen disability. But I think this is really beautiful to see and I think more of our colouring book artists that draw just women um, need to be doing this kind of thing just to um, incorporate um, differently able bodies. Beautiful though, I love her cat. Here we have a gorgeous 1950s style lady at the beach. This is going to be beautiful coloured. I can't tell whether the leaves are in her hat or whether it's meant to be a palm tree behind her. <laughs> Just can't tell. Here is a advisor for, I don't know, I would say to me, I'm thinking climate change. This looks like the recycling symbol. There's a, the map of the world, she's been um, spoken to by lots of different TV, she's been recorded by journalists. So I think for me, she is somebody who was advising us on climate change to me. That's what it says to me. I don't know why, it just does. We have this really pretty girl out on her bike. She's been to go and get flowers from the market. She has um, all of her fresh produce and she is gorgeous. I love her boots. I love those. They're really lovely. I love her hair. I love her glasses. Really, really beautiful. Gorgeous. We have this pretty ballerina up on her, um, what do they call it when you're up on your toes? Is it on point? I'm not sure. There's um, a name for being, if you know, just tell me because I'm really silly with things like that. I always forget things. But she's gorgeous, her hair is beautiful. What a gorgeous woman. This was one I almost coloured and it's this sort of, um, I want to say Georgian, but I don't really know if it is meant to be Georgian. It could be any um, historical era really. But she is beautiful. Her hair in these ringlets is gorgeous. I will be colouring her in soon. I love the sort of... Um, Brocade, you know, fur, fleur de lis, wallpaper, very, very pretty. She's gorgeous, just so gorgeous. <laughs> so, my next page is this gorgeous pirate girl. Isn't she so cool? She's even got a little scar. Here's our pirate ship. She is ready to take down anyone in her pursuit of treasure. I really love this girl, I think she's beautiful. I love the feathers in her hair, I love that she has a little plait, I love that she's got a scar. She really looks like a buccaneer. Great picture. And this one is going to be coloured soon, definitely. I love this hippie girl, I love her crazy pants, I love that she has a Volkswagen caravanette with her, she's got flowers in her hair, she is gorgeous. I just really love this picture, she's such a flower child. And now we have a blushing bride who is ready for her wedding day, I'm guessing. She's very pretty. We have a steampunk girl and she's in front of all these factory um, factories. She has her little steampunk owls or cogs and things to colour. A really lovely image. I love her dress. I love these like um, leg warmer style uh, things she has on her. She's even got the goggles, which I really like. We have this beautiful, beautiful Russian style lady with the traditional Russian buildings that you see in um, is it St. Petersburg, you see them. And she has these uh, Russian dolls. Um, it's just gorgeous, really beautiful, 
so pretty. We have a cowgirl riding her horse, which is so nice. You don't see um, cowgirls, really. You see cowboys. And what I really like is the horse is in action. You don't always see that. A lot of the time, our colouring pictures are quite um, still. You know, so the horse would just be standing. But here, the horse is rearing up and it really looks like it's got some energy. Beautiful. We have a really lovely girl here going for a run and she really does look like she's running because her body is losing its balance which is what you basically are doing when you're running and walking you are losing your balance and regaining your balance as part of that so amazing so coming up to my picture that i have colored and here it is i hope there's not too much glare um i colored this a geisha picture so i used prismacolor for her i really am pleased with the I was trying to go for a Japanese skin tone as best I could. Um, it's not a skin tone I've tried to do before, but I think I've done quite well. So if you would like that skin tone, just message me below and I will tell you my skin tone that I've used. And I think all my colours, I hope it's not too glary. Um, I think my colours all work beautifully. Um, it's really nice and what I decided to do for the background is I have um, Spectrum Noir do some tri-blend markers and what they are is one alcohol marker but it goes down into three pens so there's a light, a medium and a dark in the one pen. So I decided to do the background in that because I had like three of those pens but I decided to choose one that was this sort of colour. can't remember the colour of it but I will place it on the screen. And I felt like it gave the picture a really vintage quality and I just really wanted her to stand out. I didn't want to spend ages colouring in the background and then for it to fight with her. I wanted her to be the one thing that you looked at and I am so proud of this. I had a little look at Geisha makeup. The only thing I didn't do that was very... I would say she's um, more of the um, novice Geisha, which I can't remember what their name is, begins with an M. Um, because she has these and, and, and they tend to have the hanging down little things. But she looks not to be like a, like a fully fledged geisha. But I had a look at their makeup. So I tried to make her lips smaller as a lot of the geisha's lips are made to look smaller. The only thing I didn't do was make her face very white because I wanted it to look... Um, I didn't want it to be just a white like page really so yeah I, I added colour on her skin where really they don't really have um their skin showing they have white so yeah but she is gorgeous really happy with her I'm so happy how it worked again Prismacolor work really well on this um the markers worked well obviously I got bleed through but I put boss paper in between and I am really really pleased with it I think she turned out really beautifully and I am incredibly happy with it as you can tell I am really happy so that is my page that I have completed in this book here we have a maths teacher really cool we have this beautiful African lady who is collecting corn gorgeous we have this doctor which is really lovely um she's beautiful and it's so nice to see doctors and things like that in these books here we have a pet store owner. Her shop's called Sassy Pets. <laughs> I really like her hair. It's really nice. Like she's got a little twist here and that. And there's a bunny, a dog, a guinea pig, fish, and a, what looks to be like a, a little budgie or something. But really lovely. We have a girl who's gone out shopping. She has a shopping bag here. She's real fashionable looking. Beautiful. I like this page. We have a Native American inspired girl here and I really like all the tassels and everything. I love the boots and she is beautiful, isn't she? There is no denying that this is beautiful. She is stunning. We have a farm girl here who is obviously walking on her farm right now. Beautiful girl. Oh, I would... I think you know, she's in Italy and she has her moped. She's going to go and see the sights. Gorgeous. We have a chemist, a scientist here. 
which like I said I love to see in these books that are aimed at women and girls because we can be anything we want to be and yesterday it was International Women's Day so this is the perfect book for colouring when you're thinking about women being equal um, to any any man so yeah beautiful we have this Inuit inspired uh, lazy with the igloo and the penguins it's a really lovely book really lo lovely sorry not book picture I really like it she's she looks really toasty and warm we have what looks to be like a librarian here which is a really nice page we've got our globe and all of our books it's going to be fun to colour in all these books <laughs> and we have a hairdresser who is ready to dry your hair with her diffuser in and she's got her scissors and things it's lovely and we have a seamstress which is she is making dresses and what I think is really cool is the front cover picture is here so maybe this girl makes those dresses or this is her grandma and this is her now do you know there's so many ways you could interpret this picture but it's beautiful here is the cutest girl with the most adorable hat she's been for a coffee she looks gorgeous I like that there's a variety of outfits in here as well and here we have a girl who is painting and I really like this image a lot she's um painting a girl here maybe it's the artist maybe it's uh Saskia herself you know beautiful and I think that takes us back to the first pages again takes us back to our double but at the back I just put this in the way so I could um show you we have a color test page we have a little picture you can hear from her book Sassy Sweetheart which I am thinking I'm going to be buying. <laughs> we have her Patreon advert which has a picture that was for her Patreons especially just for her Patreons and if you look it's from as little as two dollars a month which is really really cheap and what else do we have we have a little thingy for her Etsy with a little illustration again that you can colour. And then what did you think? Did you enjoy the book? She's asking if you'd leave a review where you can find her. This is just all of her books that she has here. So yeah, I really like this book. This is my page again, as I said. I really like this book. And what's really fun is how different the page looks once you've coloured it. Let me see if I can find the page that I coloured so I can show you it against itself. I don't want to keep you too long because I can do that. So here's my page and here is the original. So I think it's really fun to see how different a page can turn out. And I think this looks completely different. I did change her eyes and things a little bit. I changed her makeup around her eyes. But it's so cool to see how different a page looks at the end. But yeah, that is my review of Wondrous Women by Sassy Colouring. And I would highly recommend it. There are 40 individual images eight all together because there are doubles and then there are the odd few at the back that you can colour in that are given as hidden extras I suppose. So I just want to thank you for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed my review and I will see you all soon. Happy colouring whatever you're colouring. Bye!